जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री कृष्ण केम छो मजा मा तुम्हें बस बाहर के उस तरफ से kind of kicking everyone out today so just be careful if you get kicked out just log back in let the group know as well let's take about 4 more minutes to do our kapal bharti sorry about the glitch Just let the group know that Zoom is having a little problem, um, so they can just log back in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're doing Kapal Bharati.
Let's take about one more minute to finish up our Kapal Bhati. Mm -hmm. to the next breathing exercise, which is the inhale exhale. So we're going to inhale from what? One nostril, hold our breath 10 seconds inside, and exhale from the opposite side. And then we're going to do vice versa. Okay. And while you do that, I'm going to take a group picture. So if you like to turn on your camera, please feel free to do so. Namaste Suresh Babu. We do have Facebook page, um, Yog Shakti, Y-O-G-S-H-A-A-K-T-I, and where we have all the live sessions. So if you miss anything, you can always get to it and catch.
Let's finish up the inhale exhale. Finish up the last round. Breathing exercise. <laughs> Let's do the cool breathing exercise. So we can inhale from both nostrils, exhale from our nose. Ready? Start. <clears throat> inhale. Exhale. <clears throat> inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Let's press our stomach and do the same concept. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. 
conexão. Ele não é Conexão. Let's do the same one. So inhale when we raise our arms up. Exhale when we bring it down. Ready? Inhale. Mm. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Very good. Let's do the deep breathing out of living way. So we can inhale when we are raising our arms up. Exhale when we bring it down. Let's do 30. Ready? Start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Normally just do 10 extras every time. Take a couple of seconds, hold before we do the next one. All right, let's do the next one, which is to J Pranam. So we're gonna inhale from both nostrils, hold hold our breath 30 seconds inside, and exhale to the opposite nostril. Make sure you're sitting straight, nice and tall. Ready? Start. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Inhale again. Inhale again, make sure you exhale from your left nostril. Inhale again. One more time. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's do the anxiety breathing next. So we're gonna close our ears with the thumb. The first two finger goes on top of your eyes. The ring finger goes around your nose, and then the pinky finger goes on top of your upper lips. You're going to inhale first, 
and with the sound of B, you will excel. Okay, this is at five times. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Inhale again. Inhale one more time. Very good. Move your hands and gently still be open. So anywhere from five to six times. Um, doing this anxiety breathing is good. Rest of the heart, tap around your heart five times. Drop twice first. Okay, and five rounds of counterclockwise. Tap it on your chest. Make sure there is no blood clot sitting anywhere. Everything is flowing nicely as it should be. Very good. Excellent. And let's do our upper arms 25 times. <coughs> Very good. Let's do our underarms. 25 minutes. Very good. Let's do our shoulders. 20 yards. <clears throat> Very 
Let's throw the knuckles. We're gonna do 20 knuckles, 20 circles of clockwise. Let's do our neck, so we're going to circle our neck, five arms, clockwise first. And five arms for front of all, please. Here we go. Let's just lay it to the right side and then left side. Let's stretch it on both sides sides of our neck. Ten times. And if you're just back and forward, ten times. Very good. And let's do the next breathing exercise, which is the tie roll. We're going to start doing the tie roll. So stretch your arms both nicely. Deep breathe. And then exhale. When you exhale, you're going to open up your mouth wide, take your tongue out, and hold your breath 30 seconds inside. Ready? Start. Again. And release. Let's do it three more times. Again. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. One more time. And release. Very good. This is the next step. Look up to the ceiling. Make sure there is one hand gap between your tent and your chest. Open up your mouth wide. Put your tongue underneath your upper jaw and start. Hold it for 30 seconds. Again. And release. This is the third step, which is the next. So you start from your right side. Turn to your right side. From in the middle, go to the left side. From in the middle, look up to the ceiling and a nice stretch to your throat. From in the middle, and let's go next. Let's go next. In the middle, go to the right side again. Please make sure your audio is muted when you join in. In the middle, look at the ceiling. Come in the middle, take down. And look straight. We swing our arms as if we're swimming. Just do 25. Thank you. 
right here. And let's do a frozen progress. 25 each side. Our right arm onto the left back. While we do that, we sit and notice. Then keep our right arm onto the left side. Paddling. Let's paddle over years, 25 hands. Paddle it backwards. Now let's hold your ears and shake it 25 times. Let all the liquid fluid drain away from it. So there is no infection. This will also help you release from migraine and sinus issues. Well, as you do more breathing exercise, you shouldn't have sinus issues. Yeah. In case if you do, this is this will be the best relief. Let's pinch our ears 25 times. Let's pinch those jaws, chick and chain, 30 times. Works. We're going to tap it on our cheeks as much as we can to let the height, let the face hydrate. So push your cheeks inside. Um, Exercise, you can just close your eyes and relax yourself while you're healing on your body. Right? Let's do the next reading exercise. We're going to open up our mouth upwards, look up to the ceiling, and, and start looking for 30 seconds. Open up your mouth upwards. Ready? Start. Mm -hmm. 
Now, when you're doing this, make sure your face is face front. Only your eyes are switched upwards, okay? Because uh, your mouth is also opened up. So, all right, ready? Again. Good. Let's do the fa wow five times. Open up your mouth outwards, okay? Let me say wow. Start. Wow. 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 Take a return to the right side outward and left. Make sure you do the take your uh, remove your eyes at that time. Um, shift your eyes along with it. All right, start. Take the air and hold it in our mouth, such as Hanati. We're going to keep our air inside. Ready? Say that one more time. Hold the air inside the mouth. Twist our sauce to the side 30 times for nice warm up. Bring your right foot forward and shift it to the right side. Push yourself nicely on the right side. Push it to the left side. Let's do a teeth grinding. So we're going to inhale from both nostrils. Exhale to have a sound of five times. Ready? Inhale. Inhale again. Again. 
We have a ring here. Very good. Let's do a namaste. <laughs> Freshly flat from the ground, and then you lift it on your toes. And head. Very good. Keep just doing the bakasa. So we're going to keep both of our arms on the ground. We're going to lean forward. Keep your both elbows onto the thigh muscles. And then you're standing on your toes and lean forward. And if you like to lift, you can always lift and hold it for 30 seconds. And release. Very good. Good job, sir. Let's take the right leg up. That's it. Hold it straight. And the left foot, left foot is folded. Shift it to your left side. Keep both of your feet flat on the ground. You're going to swing your arms out, in, out, in, on the ground. Just swing it forward, back and forth. Up and down. We're going to alternate back and forth, up and down. Right leg forward, left leg is up, straight. We're going to take our right arm and connect with our left arm in the back and bend forward as much as we can. Again, cross our feet and bring our arms underneath the legs. Five thirty times.
is uh, this whole earth is outwards. So in those feet outwards, we're keeping the knees onto the ground. We're going to connect both of our arms in the back. Your sides. Keep your both legs over our legs. And then keep both of your legs straight. You're going to reach out to your toes first. In a nice stretch to your entire back. Now let's circle your toes. Twenty times, clockwise first. And then shift the foot down the clockwise. Alternate your toes back and forth along with bringing your both hands straight. In the front, you're going to open up our fingers and close our fingers. Open toes along with alternating our toes. Let's point those toes outwards and in. In and out, out and in. Excellent for your knees. Keep your legs straight on the ground. Very good. Let's rub those heels on the on the ground, rub those ankles on the ground. Very good. Keep your both legs straight. We're gonna bring our left, our right leg to the forward. Or to the to our front. Shift it to the left leg. We're going to bring it to our forehead. Let's do raising both arms up and down. And down. Let's do 25. Let's do a chapter circles, 25 hands, clockwise first. To count the clockwise, 25 hands.
Very good. Just spread your legs as much as you can and hold your toes. Then forward. Bring both, both arms to one side. Opposite arm, but in the opposite feet. Bring your both sides nicely. your right foot inwards, left foot is folded outwards. You're going to hold it onto your left elbow and connect with both of your arms in the back for nice flexibility. Shift it to the other side. Turn the right foot this time. You're going to close it outwards. Keep it on your elbow and connect both of your arms. And delete it. Very good. Let's do over 25 on the side. the other side. And good. This goes over both of the legs curled up. Make sure it's just lay down and you're going to fold both of your legs to the right side. Put them on the right side. You're going to face to the left side. Take the left leg and we're going to hold it into your right arm and we're going to face towards the opposite side. Take your side. Take a right foot and circle it outwards 20 times. If you have just joined it, please make sure your audio is muted so you're not distracting your legs. Give that a rest. Let's take the left leg and circle it outwards 20 times. Thank you. 
Do that all right. Let's take the right knee again. We're going to circle it up and work this time. One half. Do that all right. Let's take the left leg again. We're going to circle it and work one half. Let's take both our legs, hold it up, with both our arms, keep it straight. And let's do our shoulder stand. So we're going to push our both legs up. Our lower back up and standing on the shoulders. And good. A circle from knee to the toe, turning hands clockwise first. Keep it down the top way, turn it up. If you notice, all of these exercises do take patience. You have to be patient in order for that body part to be strong, right? And then let's hold both of our four grip legs. Bring it to your face, bring it towards your face. You're going to keep your face lifted up. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Let's sing it for hernia. So if you have hernia issues, you should be doing this every day. Let's hold those, those feet and bring it to your forehead. Make sure your face is still with it. Let's fold these feet outwards and a piece of a knee onto the ground and to bring both feet forward outwards. Don't be shy to do yoga. You can skip the ones that you don't feel comfortable about. You can always do 5, 10 and train yourself that way. Or you can skip it if it's really an issue for you. But don't miss the yoga. We do A to Z entire body part here. So it will only help you for your health. Now let's shift it to holding your leg inwards. It maintains your body. Yoga brings your body healthy. It brings positivity in you. It connects your mind, body, and soul together. It brings so much confidence in you. Let's keep your right leg onto the left. Knee. We're gonna lift both of our legs up and let's hold it for 30 seconds. Exercise. So any exercise that you don't feel like comfortable for you, you can always skip it and go to the next one. And do the work, do what you can. Do your best, at least do five ten in the beginning. And then eventually your body will get used to it picking up 20. And let's hold both of your ankles and lift the upper body.
Very good. And hit. Let's see the opposite elbow touching the opposite knee and kick. Okay. Sit up and cycling together. Keep your both arms behind your head. Let's do 20 times. Okay. Now let's do the right leg kicking inwards. Mm -hmm. The left leg kicking inwards. Right leg is kicking inwards. The left leg is kicking inwards. So we're going to keep those legs backwards this time. Okay? Let's do 25. Keep both of your legs straight, flat on the ground. You're going to lift those both together, swing it up and swing it down. Swing it up and swing it down. Let's do 20. You know, these legs can be very painful sometimes by doing these exercises. Do massage yourself after the exercise if you like any time of the day. Just massage your legs with some having some oil on it, you know. Uh, just take some oil on your hand and rub it nicely first and then massage it over your bones. Excellent. You will feel so much relief from that. So instead of taking medicine, you can always massage yourself first. This is that the bones are not used to and they're getting used to it. They're trying to become stronger. They're trying to adjust your mind, what we are commanding them to do. Very good. Keep both of your legs straight, slightly separated, and let's do salasa. Both of your arms are facing towards the ceiling. Just really ask yourself to tell you that. Bring both of your legs together and let's do the full sit up. Then do full sit up. for a back exercise. Let's do 20 in the back. Both of your legs towards your body. Hold them tight with your hands. You're going to look up to the ceiling, keeping your face with your back. And then, let's hold both of your arms in the back. Lower legs are slightly next to back. And you're looking at the ceiling. Both of your arms on the side, keeping your hands on the ground. You're going to lift your right leg up and then left leg. Right and left. Let's do 20. Thank you. 
Forward, turn it hand, or sit in a massage. Bring your right foot forward in the front, left foot is straight in the back, and you're holding it for 30 seconds, looking at the sitting. If you notice, both of my knees are not touching to the ground. If you right, the whole part of the sitting is all set. Make sure you do it correctly so the body is not being in any bad shape. Let's get in your right direction. We're going to push the empty stomach part and bend down as much as we can. onto the pillow, keeping both elbows around it. Keep your head there on the pillow. Both legs are folded, your knees are folded. You're going to lift your right leg up. Hold it for 30 seconds. Keep it to the left leg. for safety reasons. Now we're going to keep both of our, uh, hold our, both of our ankles and lean forward. Keep your head down. Just try to keep your head on the ground. Again. And good. Very good. And let's sit in the right direction again. We're going to keep both of our arms on the ground, right in between our legs. Open your mouth wide right? and take your tongue out. Look up to the sitting. Make sure you do make the sound of uh, for 30 seconds at least. All right, ready? So. Uh, Very good. 
landings for your home car as well as your thigh guard. Let's do the right side extension. Keep your both right and stretch nicely. When you're doing yoga, don't be sharp. You're doing it for your own self, for your own good. And you put the right leg straight forward. You're going to keep your right leg bring it forward, and left leg is folded in the back. With the finger feeling. Arms out, keeping the right leg folded. You fold it to 90 degree angle. Just two sets. And you're going to hold both of your arms in the back. Keep your right, right foot 90 degree angle. Opposite arms touching the opposite leg. You can always turn on your camera if you like. If you like to, um, if you're wearing comfortable clothes, if you have any question, if you need to show how you're doing, please do so. You can always turn on your camera. So we tie. It's just as if you're doing the classroom version. Decide now, turn it on. Just make sure your audio is in your head. Very good. Keep both of your arms on the ground and spread your legs as much as you can. Straight for best result. Very good. Bring both of your legs slowly together. I'm going to lean back and lean forward. Let's be quick. Back and left leg, left arm is 
clean color. Halfway fold it, we will do fold it and give a nice touch to our entire back. You can put your arms in the back, you're going to lean forward and lift your right knee up in the back, keeping it straight, look straight. Focus, balance, and shape. Just lift up yourself. And then lean forward. Lift your left leg up in the back. Control and down. Extension. So right side, you're going to keep a right leg and right arm down, keeping the left arm and left leg up, looking at the ceiling. Your legs down. And you're going to go left arm up, looking at the ceiling. Take your hikes. Both of our hips, both of our arms and the head. We're gonna kick on the right side first. Twenty times. Okay, let's try with the left hip. Beginner, you can at least do five ten in the beginning, and then your trust me, your leg, your body will ask for more. Let's try the right side, the right leg kicking in the front, opposite leg is touching to it. Because your muscles are going to be willing to be strong at your dinner, but you have to keep doing it, you have to maintain it, don't stop doing it. That's how you're going to be maintaining healthy. To the left side. To Both of our arms and the hips. We're going to do a right ankle. Circle your right ankle. 20 hands. Outwards first. Keep 
give that a rest. Let's take the left arm, left ankle, circulate outwards 20 times. Give that a rest. Let's take the right left ankle again. We're going to circle it inwards 20 times. See how nicely your body is balancing? Because it used to that way. Before we were all facing the support, we were sitting on the ground, or we were sitting on the chair, right? But now it, know, it knows what to do. Shift it to the left leg. Let's circle it 20 times. And now before we do anything else, let's do our, our laughing yoga. So we can take our negative energy out and our heart is still remains the same, in the same beat, not getting so much faster. Ready? Start. <clears throat> Laugh hard. Take all of your negativity out. Make negative sound as much as you can. Start. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Very good. Sometimes the laugh turns out to be a natural laugh out of this leg, out of this laughing yoga. Let's pump our shoulders up and laugh hard, taking out all the negative impact. Ready? Start. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Very good. Sorry for the loud noise. Take your right leg onto the left knee and fold both of your arms up and then keep it steady with the belly button. Again, sorry for the loud noise. Keep your right. Let's do the eagle pose. We haven't done the eagle pose. So we're going to take our right leg and then turn it on onto the left leg. Turn it around your left leg. And then turn, twist both of our arms nicely and hold it. Very good. Very good. Let's do on your toes and on your ankle. 20 times. Top bend on your toes. Circle it 20 times clockwise, keeping your left arm onto the hips, left foot. Shift it to the other, other arm. And we're going to circle it outward 20 times. To the right arm again, we're going to circle it reverse for the counterclockwise 20 times. Shift it to the left arm, we're going to circle it reverse. Very good. And let's do our jogging first. So right ankle and right foot and right arm first. Start with the right arm and then left arm and left foot. 
Ready? Count with the right side. 100 times. Start. Now you can zoom around in the room. You don't have to stand in the same position. Get your metabolism strong. Get your blood moving. Get your heart becomes stronger. Walking, margin, 30 times. Very good. Excellent. Just look at your arms on the, on the top, lean it to the right side, middle, and left. Try to do new song. We're gonna swing our arms down, straight, up, down, cross, straight, up, down, cross. All right, let's do 20. Just arm exercise, top, bottom, sides. All right. Excellent for your heart. Of a super regular. So make sure both of your ear points are pressed and sit and get up 20 times. Want to keep our memory going? your leg, launching with your arms. Step 
cross, swing your arms to the side. Let's do 20. Both of your arms to the down. Make sure you're standing straight. You're lift your both arms up, middle, and down. Okay? Let's do 20. Up, middle, down. Up, middle, down. Our left arm onto the left hip, and then we're going to keep our right foot up. Hold it up, hold it for 30 seconds. Your side. Control and balance. Bring the ball. We're going to do over the back side. And then we're going to do handstand. Take the ball. Or you can use the heavy pillow. If you have thick, fat pillow, you can use that one too. So nicely back exercises. Both of your arms on the ground. Do a nice curve. Extend your all the muscles of the internal system. And hold it for 30 seconds. You know, we can do safe yoga. So we use the ball if you have it. So you can cover up our entire internal system and stretch it nicely. Get the same results as if as if you're doing the actual bridge without the ball support. And then your right leg straight. Keep the left leg folded. We're going to keep our right arm on the ground, left arm to stretch in the back, and then looking in the back. Take side. <clears throat> Both of your arms next to the next to those legs. Keep your both legs straight. And keep your head up. Keep your legs straight. So you stretch your straight leg. And then you have four both of your legs. You can set them down. You're going to take both of our arms, leaning to the right side, in the middle, and then left side. Let's do 20. Maybe both of your arms on the side. Make sure your head is still lifted up. Excellent for your shoulders, for the neck, for the upper arms. If you need help getting the ball, let me know. I can order it for you. If you go home, the things are excellent, you love it. Make sure you get the right side. Very good. Very good. Now we're going to do on the back side. Keep your ball straight in the back. By your both legs. We're going to keep both your arms on the ground first. Keep it steady. And keep both of your arms steady on the, on the ball. Hold it for 30 seconds. Excellent for your lower back, for your wrist muscles, and your arm muscles. Very 
Okay, look. Just get your elbows down. Let's go straight on the ball. Sometimes I can be also getting bouncy on these balls. I can also fall down, but it's okay. It's good to fall down on the carpet. It will happen. It's not like it's going to be 100% every time. So even if you get fall down, you fall down. If you get bouncy, it's okay. Don't be shy. You can be in your carpet, so you should be just in the best good shape. Keep both of your legs straight. That's why it's good to do yoga, feed yoga on the carpet. So you not get hurt. Keep your both legs straight. Then look up to the ceiling. Keep it and lift your right leg up. Keeping the left knee on the ground. Keep your left leg up. Up and down. Swing it up and down ten times. I'm proud of you guys that you guys are doing at least try. Even if you fall down, I'm so happy that you're trying. That's a good effort sign to attempt it or you're attempting to do so. Very good. Very good. Keep both of your elbows under the ball. Keep your legs straight in the back. And hold it for 30 seconds. Now, when you're doing this, you're just keeping your elbows onto the ball, okay? And your legs are in the back. You're standing on your toes. You kind of push your butt muscles inside. You're trying to push your stomach muscles inside. Trying to straighten your structure. And then, let's do the balancing. Keep your right knee onto the ball. Keep both of your arms on the side straight. Try not to take any support. Control and balance. Very good balancing, controlling your sense of exercise. The side with the left leg, you're gonna. Hold our left knee, keep it on the ball, try not to take any support. Keep your both legs steady. Right leg is on the ground, left leg is on the ball. Keep your both legs, both arms stretched on the side. And then, you need to put the ball in. What's the hands down there? So we move everything out of the way. I'm going to walk on the wall. Or you can walk on the sofa, walk on the couch or anything you like. Just keep both of your wrist muscles or the hand muscles on the ground first. We're going to walk on the wall and hold it for 15 seconds. And you can walk that down. Excellent. And if you like to skip some, that's fine. Try your best. Keep your both legs on the couch and keep your hands down for nice draw circulation onto your head. That's the whole point of it. All right, let's do the jumping jack. 60 plus, please do not jump. Still do this. All right, everyone else, let's jump. Hurry. Ready? Start. Good. Now this end up doing five ten extra. Just in case. All right, let's sit down for a beautiful eye exercise. Let's 
press the top to get ten times. It should be always sweating if you really, really did the workout. Back and forward to the 20 times. And the sides. Massage your entire head. Make sure you massage it all the way down towards your neck. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to take the two drops of hard tea, clarified butter. I'm going to rub it our nose, right under our nose here. So take the two drops of hard tea, clarified butter, rub it right below the nose here. Find yourself all scarfies. And we should keep the counter for a while. Very good. And we're going to do our exercise. So make sure you can keep the remaining tea on your skin. It's always good for your skin and for your bones. Please remove your eyeglasses if you haven't. Let's go with the right side first. If your face is face front. I'm going to go to the right side first. From the middle, follow your thumbs. Let's go to the left side. From the middle, follow your thumbs. Follow your thumb. 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 Take a look at our shoulders, what are our eyes? Our right shoulders first. And then we're going to take the left shoulder. And if you miss that going out, you can always look up to the ceiling and hold it for 30 seconds. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Let's go down to the picture of the lips. Take your right shoulders again. Here you go. Take your left shoulders. Upper eyebrows. Come in the middle, make down to your face. Let's rotate your eyeballs, funny hands, clockwise first. Down to clockwise, funny hands. Let's swing 30 times hard. Three times ten seconds of the air. Again. 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 So your eyes slowly, gently, and let's do 30 times eyes blinking. Blink your eyes hard 30 times. Okay. And then we're going to do a deep breathing. 30 times deep breathing. yoga blocks on the pillow. Keep your knee on top of those yoga blocks on the pillow. I'm going to press these points of the contact points. Going down. Tally. So press all of these acupuncture, hand acupunctures along with your foot acupuncture. 100 times tally. Ready? Start. Thank you all for joining. I will see you all tomorrow 
at 3 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow.